By now, you know all the rules applicable to a single board game, so let's learn the rules for multiple boards as we go. Here's a two board game. Here, the players are using the boxes to set up outside of each other's view. White sets up with its bishops for immediate attack, its knights into a single formation, eight strong, and an open lane for its rooks to move from one side to the other. For black, it will be harder for its rooks to go from one side to the other in the backfield. A potential weakness. When the boxes are lifted, each side sees the other for the first time. During its turn, each army commands a move. Two kings on each side means two armies, or two divisions, and each commands a move. It's white's turn, and the red rooks join blues, rooks, and queens. Then, under blues command, the entire infantry moves forward. In other words, you must move one piece from each division. When you move that piece, you can move any other pieces in the same formation, even if they are from another division. Here, black's yellow division commands a move by sweeping its rooks and queens to the flank. Then, a single green infantryman is able to command a move, marching diagonally forward one space with a number of infantrymen from the yellow division. Any given piece can move only once during a turn. White's turn, and the blue division commands a massed attack of rooks and queens against black's flank. Then, under red's command, the eight knights move closer to the kings. Black's turn, and the yellow regiment of queens and rooks charge forward and capture several opposing pieces. Then, under Green's command, the infantry marches forth. One green infantryman captures an opposing rook, while a yellow infantryman also makes a capture. Remember that only one infantryman from each army can make a capture, but that is exactly what happens here. White's turn, and the remaining red bishops take out a black rook and queen. Under Blue's command, two queens and four rooks break off from the charging regiment and attack the rear of Black's infantry, thus poised to attack the king in the next move. It's Black's turn, and two green bishops sweep that charging regiment from behind, taking out two rooks. Although that king looked like an easy catch, he was defended by too much firepower and the attack begins to fall apart. Then, under Yellow's command, the knights all move forward and take out a queen from the same attacking regiment, thus decimating a serious threat. White's turn, and the two remaining red bishops cut Black's attacking regiment into virtually nothing. Again, the defenses were too strong, the attack was too weak to survive, and it was launched too early. Now we're going to fast forward so you can see what happens near the turning point of a game. In this, we're going to assume that White's massed attack is succeeding. It's Black's turn. The Green King is double-checked by both the Queen and the Rook, but there is a way out of the dilemma. In this instance, the Green King takes out one Rook. Then, under Yellow's command, the Knights all move in column, one following the other, and take out the queen. Let's reverse a couple of moves and see how it plays out when white's attacking regiment is twice as strong. Now black's two moves are ineffective and the king will be captured. Some of you probably saw the green king's other escape by fleeing left with an infantryman, but let's move forward to learn the last rule. The attacking regiment takes out black's green king. The Red Queen then makes a capture of its own and joins the two bishops in formation. Because the Green Division King is captured at the end of White's turn, the entire Green Army is removed from the board. Now Black has only one King, one Army, and can therefore only make one move per turn. By contrast, White still has two armies and can still command two moves each turn. Under the command of that red rook, the four rooks close in on Black's flank. Then the four bishops move in from the diagonal, checking the king. Black's single move is a bishop coming to the king's rescue. For White's two moves, the bishops press the attack from the diagonal, and the rooks continue their attack from the side. Black moves to escape. White's two moves, with the rooks closing in, taking out yet another knight, and the bishops getting out of their path. Check. The last black knight makes a capture, taking out one rook and severing the other from the formation,
thus effectively taking out two rooks. White closes in with its rooks. Black's last king goes down fighting and takes out a rook. The bishops claim him. His entire army is removed from the board and the game is over. Regimental chess for the brutal intellect.